age. Amen. What the Lord is showing me, why he engaged and talked to Peter this way. I will give unto thee the key of the kingdom of heaven. And he said, whatsoever thou shalt pass on earth shall be bound in heaven. That's power. Amen. That's authority. And he said, give it to a born again believer, those that believe in Christ Jesus. Those that have the Holy Ghost on the inside of them, those that have made the commitment of being born again, look at the authority that lies within you. That anything that you come up against, if you use your faith in God, you can bind it. And it'll be bound in heaven. That's what Jesus told Peter. And now, Amen. Peter, I can tell you that because why? Because you know who I am. You don't look at me as being a real man. You know that I am the Messiah. Yes. And whatsoever thing that you do ask, I can give it to you. Why? Amen. Because I can pray to the Father that he do it for you. Amen. Now, Peter, I am encouraged. And I know, Peter, now that you don't have to worry about running with every wind and doctrine. Why? Because you know who I am. You know what the word of God says. I believe, believe not every spirit. I Amen. but try the spirit by the spirit. I, yes. That's why come you need a good foundation. Yes. I, you need to know who Jesus is. I, mm -hmm. Amen for real. I, yeah. Because a lot of people I, are crying the name Jesus. I, uh -huh. But beloved, if they don't furnish I, the Lord thou God alive. Yeah. Uh, that's why the Bible says if you come to him, mm -hmm. uh, you can't come to him in and every kind of way. Amen. Uh, if you come to him, you climb it up in another way. Uh, yeah. But coming through the door uh, yeah. and accepting Jesus Christ, uh, yeah. the same as a thief, uh, yeah. a man and a robber. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why Jesus said, uh, yeah. I am the door. Uh, yeah. Amen to the sheepfold. Uh, yeah. If you enter in, yeah. You must come in yeah. Yeah. through the door. But yeah. well, Jesus said, I come and give you life yeah. Yeah. and give it to you more abundantly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's all right when you got to come in. Yeah. Yeah. And when you come in, you start building. Yeah. Yeah. Amen on that foundation. Yeah. Yeah. With a holy yeah. Yeah. and sanctified life. Yeah. 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 Each and every day, yeah. Yeah. you follow the law. Yeah. Living holy and righteous before him. Yes. Oh, Lord, I thank Amen. 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 They keep this stuff here from a lot of folks in church. Amen. And it's sad that the folks that feel it's evidence in the word, Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see it in the word. Now, it, I can just first say and read it to tell you about building on the sand, and the Lord will tell you that when the winds start blowing and everything, Amen. it tells that house to fall. And the reason they failed because they didn't never separate themselves from sin. Amen. They played with sin the whole time. And when the hard times showed up came, they didn't know Jesus. Amen. Like they should, like they ought to. They cried help from the Lord mm -hmm. and couldn't get enough. Because they played Amen. with sin too much. Amen. What I'm trying to tell you, beloved, building on this foundation, don't let the devil impose and make you religious. Amen. 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 As an individual, you got to live right before God yourself. Amen. Live all you know how before God. Because God going to be your judge. He going to judge you. Amen. Amen. But while you are here, live a life before him. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Let me read on. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And it says, Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. It got to the place sometimes something can stick to you. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that, something can bother you, depress you, mm -hmm. give you a headache, have you mad, upset, you ain't glad, you don't know how you're going to make it, how you're going to go through. You got to get to the point of that Jesus, I need some help. Amen. Amen. I need some help, Lord. You got to loose this stuff. Amen. And you got to start loosening some things. Mm -hmm. And you got to walk by faith and believe God going to do it. Amen. Amen. Don't let the devil depress you and get you to a place. If you know you're a child of God and you're living for the Lord, you can look for victory. 
Amen. It's a time of trial and tribulation in your life, but beloved, if you hold on, huh? the sun gonna shine. The Lord yes. will bring a Amen. way out. He'll give you a way out that you can't escape it. My God, if it don't escape, He'll give you victory and power over it. Then it won't knock you, my God, back into the world. Huh? All right. But the Lord will give you strength to bear and go through it, say, but we got to go through because we'll build it. My God on the rock. Yes, sir, because you know Jesus. Amen. Because you know Amen. Jesus. What birthday is it? 20 birth? Yes. Stay with me. Look how quick you could be in the spirit. And look how quick you can get out of the spirit. Y'all follow me? Amen. Look what the bishop's going to do. You know what I'm talking about when I say bishop? Peter. Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter is the bishop. Mm -hmm. And look what the bishop going to do in this chapter right here and there. It said, 20 verse, then charged his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Amen. They knew who he was. Amen. 20 verse, 20 verse. It said, from that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elder and the chief priest and the scribe and be killed and be raised again the third day. Amen. Now Jesus done told his 12 disciples we were, I'm the son of God, mm -hmm. I'm the son of man, I come from my father. Mm -hmm. Now look what the bishop gonna do. 27, then Peter took up, took him, and did what rebuke, rebuke Jesus. <laughs> I got he rebuked God himself. Yes. Peter rebuked him. You know he was in the flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You look, don't get out in the spirit. Yeah, I'm God the spirit. don't use the <laughs> high. This high here right in church, get in a mighty good holy Ghost service. Mm -hmm. You don't spoke in tongues. You don't get to go out in the door. The devil uses you. Amen. Amen. But how in the world could you act like that? Don't get out in the spirit. Now you're you back in the flesh. Amen. Say, don't say he won't say it. At that moment, just let the devil use it. Amen. Just that quick. Amen. I'm going to prove, look, you're going to find out what Jesus going to say to him. Amen. It said, it said, and then charge the whoever, what person is 22. 22. 22. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord. Man, I know he's going to call him Lord. <laughs> <laughs> You might well you might well just call him anything else. You wanna call him the Lord. Because when you say Lord, you're gonna bow. Amen. You gonna be and you gonna confess that he's Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. When he is talking about Lord, this shall not be unto thee. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. Look what you gonna say to him. It says, but he turned and said unto who? Peter, Peter uh -huh. Bishop, get thee behind me. Who? Amen. Sometimes you got to put folks in the place. Amen. I'm talking, about, I'm talking to the devil. Amen. The devil using you now. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Satan, get behind me. Yes. Know what Jesus just did? The priest said, get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art all fits unto me. Amen. Amen. Peter said, Peter forgot what the prophecy said, what the word is said. Now Jesus had not told him what the father died. I'm gonna die and get in the heart of everybody. I'm gonna be raised up in there. He done told him all of that. Mm -hmm. Now he ought to know Jesus was gonna be killed and everything, gonna be crucified and everything. How he gonna be raised if he won't go die and stuff? Mm -hmm. My God, get thee behind me, say, for thou art offensive to me. For thou savest not the things of God, but those of men. So he's saying, he's still looking at Jesus as just a, a road dog, just a mere man that walked with him and stuff. My buddy and stuff. No, my buddy, you ain't gonna know Jesus said, ain't your buddy. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm more than your buddy. I'm your God. Amen. But you looking at me as a mere man. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's how a lot of folks lose their blessing with God all the time. Folks will look at you, they can't never forgive you of your past. Mm -hmm. But they can't see your walk in Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're always looking at your past life. Well, I remember this. I remember that. You better look at the God that's in them. Amen. And what God has brought them from. That's how you get blessed. That's how you move in God. Let's read on. I'm almost through 24 verse. It said, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, look what it says. 
on this journey, while we say we're supposed to be doing what? Denying our sin. Mm -hmm. And that means everything that ain't right in the sight of God that you know ain't right, you're supposed mm -hmm. to stop doing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. What you know ain't right, you're supposed to stop doing. The Lord will help you stop doing it. Amen. 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 Then you got to deny yourself. You know it ain't right to smoke. You know it ain't right to drink. You know it ain't right if you ain't married to go out and fornicate. You know it ain't that ain't right. You start denying yourself. Look what Jesus said. Then say he to the disciple, if any man, any woman will come after me, let him, let her deny himself or herself. And what? Take up his cross and follow me. Talk about taking up your cross, your trial. Whatever being permitted in your life, you got to go do. Sometimes folks just want God to move things out of the way before He take you through. You got to be put in the potter's house sometimes. God mm -hmm. got to shape you. God got to mold you. Make you the right way so when you come out, you can come out like pure gold. But what so many folks do, they cry in the moment. Don't let the Lord make them. And always trying to do something for the Lord when the Lord trying to make you solid, trying to make you build upon the rock that you can have strength to go through and test the time or anything that come against you. You know God is going to take you through. Amen. Amen. I tell you the word of God. God deny yourself saying, and I'm still denying myself. Amen. You know why I'm denying myself? Because the flesh still cut up. Yes. Amen. Yes. You still got to say no. Amen. When you see yourself and your flesh cut up, you got, ooh, you got to recognize. You got to say no. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to say no to your flesh. You got to rebuke yourself and move on. Look what it says, 25th. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life, for my sake shall find it. That's how we gain eternal life. We mm -hmm. forsake everything, and we don't let nothing hinder us from running for our life. You can't let a man be so good if you, you fall over here alone. You can't let a woman do this to you, do that, because you give up your salvation. Whatever trial you go through, the Lord can take you through. Amen. Some of us been going through ever since we've been saved. Mm -hmm. All the Lord is doing, he just fixed the gave us strength to go through, because some of the things ain't been moved past. But you ain't gave up your salvation yet. Mm -mm. You got to go through. Amen. It's amazing what you don't know, pardon in your mind how <laughs> people hinder you and what they do to you and stuff. You want to get out of the way sometimes. Amen. But it look like them rocks out leave you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They keep right on being the devil. They keep right on tormenting you and everything. Mm -hmm. But you still got to go on in the Lord. Amen. 26 bro. For what is a man prophet, a woman prophet? If he or she shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, it's all about your soul. Amen. It's all about where you're going to spend eternity. Mm -hmm. You are responsible for your own soul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, you got to be man enough. You got to be woman enough to ask the Lord to save you. Lord, I don't want to die in my sins. Jesus. There's so much evidence that folks are dying every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them ain't getting 55 years old. Some of them ain't living to 60 years old. But they're dying and they're going away from here. Amen. You better open your eyes and prepare yourself and get yourself ready. Because you don't want to die in your sin. Amen. That's why I preach about sin so much. Because you don't want to go there. Mm -mm. The devil deceiving folk got folk to the place. They think they got all the time in the world to be saved. You need to be man enough and woman enough to ask the Lord to forgive you of your sin. If you take boldness to enter into holiness, it takes boldness to come to the throne of God. It takes boldness for a man to say, God, I'm sorry, save my soul. It takes boldness for a woman to admit and say, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me. And then pick up your cross and follow the Lord each and every day. Oh my God. Amen. Amen. That's why we were born saved, to be saved. Amen. We won't want to die to go to hell. The devil been tormenting us for the longest. He's going to keep tormenting us because he don't want us to be saved. Amen. Amen. Let me get a read on where I'm at. 26. For what would a prophet man if he should gain the whole world and to lose his soul? 
Or what shall a man give in that chain for his soul? What can you give? What can you put in the place of? No. No. Well, it ain't nothing. Because if you don't get saved, what's going to happen? Amen. If you die in your sin, you're going to hell. Amen. 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 Ain't nobody trying to make you get saved. But when the word of God comes forth, you ought to have enough strength to ask the Lord to save you. Amen. Amen. All you got to do is look back on your life where the enemy don't try to come in and steal you and try his best to take you off of this earth. He trying to run you crazy. He trying to get you sick, diseased, and all messed up. And what they, but you still need to repent, saying. Amen. Amen. I tell you, it's the truth. I'm almost through 27. For the Son of Man shall come in his glory and of his Father with his angels. And then he shall reward every man according to his work. Building on the foundation. And every person's work is going to be tried by fire. And that simply means your motive, your intent, why you do what you do for Jesus. Amen. 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 You can't hide from the Lord. You can't trick the Lord. Whatever your reason is, what you do, how you do what you do, and how you do it and stuff, the Lord already knows. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tried by fire. And you can tell the Lord going to judge it. He said, but your soul shall be saved. Amen. A lot of folks ain't going to have no gifts in hell. Only what they ain't going to make it is your soul. Mm -hmm. But it takes God to judge it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things folks do, amen, won't exclude them from heaven. But a lot of things can not get to the place where we're heaven there if it turned to sin. Amen. 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 Your works. Go back and read that scripture and say your works. Mm -hmm. 28, brother. Brother, I say unto you, there shall be some standing here which shall not taste of death until they see the Son of Man coming into the kingdom. You'll be standing right here. You won't taste of death until you go up in the cloud and you'll taste of God. Amen. Okay. Some people are going to ask you, see this act happen? Amen. 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 Build it. On this foundation, having a good foundation, say, mm -hmm. I love y'all. I ain't gonna try to give y'all too much. And I hope you learn something from it. Mm -hmm. you know, Amen. Try, try to live right for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Keep striving. Push yourself, saying, push yourself. Amen. Amen. You got to push yourself as much as you can and be honest toward God. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank God for the word. Having a good foundation. You don't want to give their life to the Lord. It's not hard. You can ask the Lord to forgive you for all your sin coming to your heart and save you. While we, the scripture said, now is the time of salvation. Amen. Now is the time to be saved. Amen. All you got to do is stand up and take faith and ask the Lord to save you. And after getting saved, live one day at a time Amen. and continue to serve the Lord. Amen. And if the Lord, God would tell his son to come back to get us, you can go back with him. Amen. All you know to say. And young people would like to be saved today. Amen. Anybody? Thank the Lord. Amen. If God give you new mercy in the morning, you're still here, it's still that question still gonna be there. Amen. 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 Don't overstep the damn grave. Mm -mm. Don't let it be saved too late, too late. Amen. Amen. I love it. And we all love it. God bless you and pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.